All right, today we're going to finish Mud Ball by Matt Traverse. I think it's in a puddle, the first baseman shouted. I saw it land here. He splashed and splashed, but still the ball was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, Slugger McCree strutted across home plate. The score was three to one. Remember that McCreary was on third base. Now he has to run the home plate to score one run. Oilers stole the ball. Check his pockets, the Saints fans yell. And he raced towards second, but the second baseman stood in his way. Come here, you little thief, he growled. The second baseman dove, but Andy jumped right over him. He rounded second and headed for third as Jaeger slid safely home. The score was three to two. Remember that Jaeger was on second base. Now he has run to third base and then to home plate. Grabbing another player is against the rule. So why does the second baseman try to grab Andy? Because they think he stuck the ball in his pocket or something. I don't know. What'd you do with the ball? The pitcher screamed at the catcher. I didn't do anything, yelled the catcher. Just disappeared. As they were arguing, Maloney slid between them and crossed home plate. The score was tied. Andy tagged third and headed for home, but the muddy second baseman was hot on his trail. And here they are, they're all sliding and playing in the mud. What was the second, why is the second baseman covered with mud? Remember that Mahoney started out at first base. He has now run from first to second to third and now home. So now the score is tied at three. I'm gonna get you, the second baseman yelled. With every step, he drew closer and closer. But just as he was ready to pounce on Andy, he tripped and fell face down in the mud. Little Andy Euler crossed home plate with the winning run. What's the score now? Four to three. We scored four runs. We win, yelled the Miller, Miller's manager. It doesn't count, shouted the Saints manager. Nobody knows where the ball went. Ah, <sighs> moaned the second baseman. I tripped on a rock and twisted my ankle. The umpire scratched his head. There weren't any rocks when I raked the field this morning, he said. Oh yeah, said the second baseman. What's this? Now hang on just a second. The boss of each team is called the manager, so the two managers are arguing. The manager of the other team says the run should not count because no one knows where the ball is. The other team says, hey, that's not how this goes. Now, I think I can infer something here. I know the umpire raked up all the rocks. I know the second baseman fell over something he thought was a rock in the mud. Oh, and here's one more clue. The name of our book is Mudball. So I can infer that what he really tripped on, and look at his hand carefully, is the ball. Fair ball, shouted the umpire. The Millers win. Remember that the second baseman thought Andy stole the ball and hit it. Was he right? No. You think he should apologize? Yes, but will he? Doubtful. The Millers jumped for joy. The fans rushed the field and everyone crowded around little Andy Euler, the big hero of Minneapolis. So why do they call Andy a hero? Take a look at the picture. They are excited to win that game, right? Epilogue. Even though his home run traveled only a few feet in front of home plate, it seemed to break Andy Euler out of his slump. He had three hits the next day, and by the end of that season, he was one of Minneapolis Miller's best players. The St. Paul, the, the St. Paul Saints kept, fans kept making fun of Andy for being short, but it didn't bother him one bit. He knew that he didn't have to hit the ball over the fence to help his team. He just had to play hard and have fun, and that's what Andy Euler did even on days when he couldn't seem to get a hit no matter how hard he tried. Andy loved playing for the Millers and the fans at Nicolette Park loved watching him play. Andy Euler never did hit another home run, but while other records have come and gone, no player has ever come close to doing what he did that muddy day back in 1903, when the shortest player in the league became a hero by hitting the shortest home run ball in baseball history. And that's the end of our story. Thanks for listening.